Yeah, good afternoon all, this is Wendell Daniel from Street Cam Documentary. Coming to you live and direct from Trafalgar Square where the Sudanese people are protesting in relation to injustices that are happening in their country. Let's have a look, let's see the amount of people just look behind me and thousands of people who are protesting and this is going on every single week and Street Cam Documentary has been here on three occasions. What do you have to say about the amount of young people and women who are out here protesting today? Ramadan without even 
the radio. He never gave us any bodies. We never, up to now, we don't know where they are buried. Okay? We, the families of the 28 officers, we would like justice. We would like him to be sent to ICC. We would like him to tell us where he buried. And he, our brothers, the father of orphans now, who are now some of them here in England, because he couldn't handle it, he continued to pursue us in our family homes, pursue my brothers, my sisters, and the families of the other uh, 28 officers. So we want to see him, we want to see justice. On top of that, he continued to steal and call the resources of Sudan from oil to gold on his family. His friends, all the people are and his worthy are the, you know, uh, just the top of the money of our country. That's why the people are hungry now. They are starving. They don't have any money. They don't even, they, they can't even access their cash, their own cash. Tell me, how has this affected your family? It has affected my family tremendously. I left the country. I couldn't continue. I was working there. I, I couldn't because I was harassed. My brother was very harassed. He had to leave the country to come. Uh, my brother is in the States. Now we don't know how the other brother is in the country. I am here. So my mom is from her own dad. So he's back to family. The tragedy. We're still living it. We're still living it. So tell me, yeah, this is the first time I've seen you down here. Why are so many young people and girls protesting here in Trafalgar Square? There's, there's, there's so much in the social media about this matter. Yeah. You know, young people are getting involved now. Uh, Unlike before, all these Sudanese matters, you'll find it on certain websites. You, yeah. If you care, you know, your dad is watching Al Jazeera news and then it comes as a highlight. But now, every every outlet, Facebook, all these social media things, there's so much about this. Uh -huh. And young people, they, they go and they, they engage, they care. Uh -huh. They care, you know. Uh -huh. So you're saying because of social media, the young people have engaged and they're motivated to come out and protest. We live in an era where everyone feels like they want entrepreneur, they want to bring their own, um, their own input to anything. We become very active in terms of our own views. So people are more for expressive. People want to be the change. You know what I mean? Um, it's an international thing. It's not just a Sudanese thing. But it still affects how young this is me, this is Dr. Isa here. I'm, I'm Dr. Hashem Abdullah Mukhtar Isa. I am one of the activists in London here. We gather in Trabalga Square so as to say no to Omar al-Bashir. We gather here, we gather here so as to raise our voice and to let the UK public know what's about what's happening in the Sudan. So they have uprised going on since December and the Sudanese people want rid of Omar al-Bashir's government and this um, and the whole corrupted government which has been in power for the last 10 years, and we will bring the democracy, human rights, and enterprise to Sudan. Tell me something, are you proud at the amount of people who are now coming out? And I see today, I'm there's very, so I'm many... Very proud. I'm very proud because all Sudanese people have been activated. They are well activated and they are well connected to what's happening. They, all those gathering, all these people have got somebody on one of their relatives who's been detained or who's been killed by al forces. That's why people have no option but to Gaza and say no and protest, protest till we be able to change the government. But tell me, why are so many young people, especially girls, out here protesting? They are motivated for the reason that... Come over there, come over, come over there, buddy, lady. They are very... They are not right about this as a future of the Sudan. Yeah. Yeah. And so tell me about this. And their future has been squandered by yeah. Omar al-Bashir. The resources of the country has been squandered. They have no future. They have got no, no hope of going back home. They have got a rich country sitting there, but they can't use this, these resources. The resources have been squandered by al-Bashir. They have a future now. They have a future now. They have a future now. They have Change is coming, and everybody will have his own opportunity. All right, I do. Go back to the country.
Wendell Daniel from Straight Hand Documentary coming to you live and direct from Trafalgar Square where the Sudanese people are down here protesting at the injustices which are occurring in their own country and what they're fighting for is for the president to stand down. They want him to stand down. They want him to face justice at the ICC.